Do you know why you give aspirin to somebody with an acute myocardial infarction? Do you know why? This is the paper. It's ISIS-2. I think it's one of the most important papers that has ever been published in medicine. It was in the British Medical Journal in 1998. You see, before 1998, there was a suggestion that aspirin was useful for patients with acute coronary syndromes, particularly with acute myocardial infarction, but it wasn't really proven. And this study, ISIS-2, proved it. It was a big study. This study, which was uh, in, I think, let me read here just to be sure. It was in 16 countries in 417 hospitals with over 17,000 patients. And it was a two by two factorial design. So you're coming in and you're having a myocardial infarction and then you got randomized. You got randomized to aspirin, streptokinase, which is a thrombolytic, both or neither. That's right, in 1998, you could do a study without giving aspirin and give placebo because it wasn't proven that aspirin worked. There's so much to say about this study, but when it comes to just the aspirin, there was a significant and sustained reduction in mortality that lasted for years. That's right, lasted for years. Here is the section right here about aspirin. So aspirin versus placebo, significant reduction in mortality. Number needed to treat of about 38. They described it as 26 less deaths per thousand people treated. But that means you need to treat about 38 people with aspirin to prevent one death. Whenever you've got a drug like that, you need to look at the number needed to treat. You need to look at the number needed to harm. You need to look at the cost. You need to look at a lot of things. Cost, zero. Uh, side effect profile, fantastic. Uh, the only people you can't really give aspirin to are those that are aspirin allergic. That's rare. So, uh, and it also reduced stroke and other things as well. So we entered the age of aspirin because of ISIS-2. There's about 20 articles you need to read in all of medicine, particularly if you're in the urgent care and the emergency department or in your a primary care office looking after unscheduled patients. And this is one of them, ISIS-2, 1998. Go read it. We entered the age of aspirin because of this study. Amazing. Please do yourself a favor, read it.